Today, I will take you to my laundry routine. As a couple, we are not producing crazy amount of items for daily wash, but still, weekly, undies 2 times 7 make 14, t-shirts, shirts, pants, jeans, socks, towels, beddings, you name it. Our laundry basket is filled up to the brim in no time. I haven't a particular laundry day. Once our belongings are sliding out of the basket, I like the gletcher sliding known as a basil sliding, I know it's the day. It happening twice or sometimes even three times a week, but the bigger batch is usually on the bed changing day. And then I'm tending to get washed the beddings first, because very often I'm putting the same clean set on again. It's also more convenient because it does not clogging the laundry bin and our laundry room is closer too. I have to make two loads as they are two color and require different washing temperature. I'm also not too much into ironing, so I like to get my bedding out of the dryer until it's warm. And okay, we have three of the same sets, so it makes no difference which one to take like a next. If I'm not forgetting, I'm fastening one middle button. It prevents the V cover from getting pregnant. Our pantry and laundry room is in the same space. Years ago I installed IKEA Algot shelving system and I really love it. Unfortunately it is discontinued by now. I have chosen metal slotted top over the appliances because I thought it's a great idea for preventing those things from overheating and as a bonus some tiny items getting quite fast dry if I leave them there. Everything I need for washing I'm keeping in two containers, like liquid and dry detergents. A few words about the detergent for cleaning the washing machine self. It says to wipe the rubber parts, soak the detergent drawer and run one cycle with no load. No need in Calgon taps for every load and way more affordable on the long run. I also got the bleach and stain remover next to the rest, but for instance greasy stains, I'm pre-washing with a simple dishwasher detergent. And for the ink stains, oops. So for the ink stains, I got a travel size hairspray. It's from the older generation, which still contains alcohol. Spraying with the hairspray and dabbing with the cotton pad, repeating until the stain is gone and washing as usual. For the load of colorful laundry, I got a reusable color catcher cloth, which traps extraneous dyes during the wash cycle, preventing bleeding. I hadn't experienced pink laundry myself, but had few other shade zebra cases, and never ever since I'm using the color catcher. For ages I'm washing with Persil. I remember my grandmother longing about it in the Soviet period, when we got something like so-called washing powder, 
I think it was called Lovsk and after washing every fabric turned grey and rough. I'm also keeping a stash of mesh bags. This round is actually for the brass. Besides delicate garments and stretchy items, I'm definitely washing all the socks in one of these. We needed a handyman from the Bosch service to find a sock in the secret stomach of washing machine a couple of years ago and this sock costed us almost 160 euros. So the mesh bag, it's also friendlier for the budget. When I'm running full drying cycle, I'm taking the laundry out of the dryer right away after it's stopped and place every piece straightened on plain surface to let them completely cool before folding. Like in every respected household, I also got an iron and ironing board here. But as I don't like ironing, I was really happy when one friend of mine shared how to cheat on ironing. You may be also doing this or got the dryer with an ironing function, but if not, here is a trick how to keep your clothes look ironed without ironing. Let it tumble in the dryer for about 20 minutes and then hang them for the completely air drying. It's close to perfect. The cloth pin is preventing. Oops. Once again, it's preventing from sliding the hanger of the rack, as well as lifted up top grids. Almost everything not white, I'm drying on the hangers. Not very satisfied about needing two sorts of them, however, blacks are too small for my husband's clothes and whites having hooks for the tank tops. Never mind, I'm tending to hang every piece of clothes so that I don't have to switch them before moving into a wardrobe. The kitchen towels are also those what I only air drying, and here is why. They are made to dry fast and I want to have them look like they are ironed, but there is no sense in ironing them, because we all know that they are getting crumpled the moment you touch the first wet plate. But it makes sense when you fold them for store, so the ones from the hanger are looking like they've been ironed. And the ones from the dryer make impression like they've got a permanent. few words about our regular towels. We have shipped it face towels for the hand towels and the hand towels for the bath towels, because we are taking advantage only of the end parts. 
so we simply skipped that middle part. All our towels are all white for a couple of simple reasons. Be black or white, the fabrics are collecting the same amount of dirt. Just on the whites, you can see it right away and likely it will change them immediately, not growing up tons of germs. Did you ever try to bleach something black? Exactly. You got your own version of Starry Starry Night, right? Birds are filling up the sky, are you willing to try? Why? Sing along as they hum and be fulfilled. Many more will come, many more. Keep it steady We will be the confetti If we fail we just reboot Someone recently asked How do I store used cleaning clothes? So first of all I'm letting them air dry And then store in the boxes until I'm collecting enough for make a load If you watched until this, I would like to share a waiting room for brass before they get washed. I'm keeping them in Muji boxes, so they stay not smashed away from a laundry basket and out of sight. When I was editing this video, my husband took care of our laundry and few of my t-shirts experienced a heat wave of full drying cycle. Here is my quick fix. Soak it in lukewarm water for up to 30 minutes with a hair conditioner and wash it in the washing machine as usually. Oops, looks a little bit like a poo. Oh, nothing can take us down. So here is pretty much it from my laundry routine. I hope you enjoyed and could pick up one idea or another and I also would like to know your tips and tricks or what I could do different. Always happy to improve something. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up and smash the subscribing button. Also share it with those to whom it might be useful. Thanks for watching, greetings from Luxembourg and see you in the next one. Eddie! We just reboot.